Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to attempt to engrave in color on a stainless steel project. So let's get to it. So to engrave color, we're actually going to be using our Momport GI-25 laser. So when researching our machine, we wanted something that could engrave color. And the Montport GI-20 fiber laser, it has integrated MOPA or MOPA, which advertises as being able to anneal in color. So we're going to run a materials test first to kind of assign settings that give us different color outputs. And the materials test is an excellent tool to enable you to get fine settings for color annealing. So after running the materials test, we found and assigned colors for those particular settings that we're going to integrate into our project today, which is going to be a little bottle opener with our symbol on it in color. So we're here in Lightburn and just to get us started, we're going to go ahead and use a PNG image of our logo and we're going to use this to attempt to do some color here on some of these objects. But I'm going to go ahead and trace this, right click and trace image. And the trick here is to try to get this to pick up all of the different shapes here. So now that we have a line around all of the different objects in here, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to make everything an individual shape so that I can select it, right? So if I wanted to select this T here to delete, I can't right now because it's all grouped. But if I hit individual and then select off and then select the T, now I can move it, get rid of it. Because I don't want the words like this, I'm going to end up typing those out on the side based off of the shape of our object. I kind of want this part to be as big as possible and I don't need the letters here. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to copy this circle, lock that down. So now to kind of, I guess, get an idea of what this is going to look like. We're going to go ahead and assign colors to these shapes to fill, and that will make it kind of easier to visualize. So I'm just going to put them on layers that will represent kind of the colors that we're going to have here. All right, so now we have all the shapes assigned to a color fill. We're going to obviously shrink this down to size of how we're going to engrave it on stainless steel, but we're also going to assign the settings per the color of this layer so that we kind of get the output on the stainless steel of the color that we want. So we're gonna use our little material test to select the settings that we want for these particular colors. Well, we're gonna do our best at least. All right, so here's the material test that we did on this spare bottle opener here. And this is what we're gonna be engraving on, so I figure we can use this material test to get good colors. But I'm trying to pick a good brown for the paintbrush and the ukulele here. I'm going to miss one right here. And we're just trying to get close, see what kind of results we can get. We're gonna use that one for the uke color. It's hard to pick up here, so we'll choose that one. Or the screwdriver. I think I'm going to choose that one right there. For the yellow, we can use one of these light oranges. Yeah, we're going to use this one right here. 600 frequency and 0 0.003 interval. Yeah, for the red, we're going to go ahead and use this kind of dark pink, light purple, because we didn't have any good reds show up on our test here. So that's close enough. Now we're just going to shrink this down and then we're going to add some text. So we got these stainless steel bottle openers and this will make kind of a perfect test to color. So we're gonna put that down. We already have the laser focused and now we're going to get this all set up. Okay, so let me go ahead and frame this out to see how much smaller we need to make this design. 
Right, you can see there we need to make it quite a bit smaller. That's okay. Perfect. I'm just gonna double check if all my settings are correct. Well, there it is. So we have an opportunity here. If you don't like the colors, you can run a particular color over again. Like this pink is really, really light. So if you wanted to do that one again, I kind of wanted to get the red just a little bit more, but I don't want to ruin it. By running it again, we could potentially turn it a different color altogether. So I'm just going to say we're good. Any focus difference, like anything at all, could absolutely change the annealing effect on the stainless steel. So I think this is good enough to call a success and let's go ahead and clean this off. Yeah, it turned out really nice. So I think the results turn out really cool and it's awesome that you can engrave color with a laser and it's a very cool tool to be able to customize different household items or anything you really want. Yeah, it's actually really neat that you can get a little bit more detail in your projects and inserting color into an engraving, obviously it opens the aperture to all the different projects that you can do with that. So we have found that engraving in color is, is quite simple once you get your settings dialed in, but getting those initial settings to start with definitely needs a materials test to try to get just the right settings. Now, if you're going to be using our settings, uh, which you can see in our video, just keep in mind that every machine is different. So if you're working with a 30 watt system or a 40 watt, 50 watt system, it's gonna have different results. And again, it all kind of goes up to those settings that you do initially with the machine and how focused it is and everything there. There's a lot to this, but once you get the settings right, you can save those settings in your Lightburn library and just call upon them every time you need that particular color. And again, it's very sensitive to focus length. So just keep that in mind that you may not get consistent results if you're not focusing exactly, you know, exactly the way mm -hmm. uh, it was for your initial color test. But otherwise, pretty simple. And again, a, a nice new addition to our project arsenal. We're able to do color engraving now. And if you want a Montport GI20 fiber laser to add to your laser collection so you can do color, what discount code can you use? Use Anonymous 10 to get 10% off this laser or any laser on the Montport website. Again, that's Anonymous 10 to do cool projects like this. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay coffee. And be happy. Bye.